am so excited because I got my very first pen pal letter from my friend Rachel. She's my new friend. <laughs> and I figured I may as well do a pen pal with me video. I figured this out after I wrote the letter. So I just basically decorated some of these um, pages that I found at an estate sale. And I absolutely loved this paper set. And I don't know if I can say it's vintage, but most of the stuff I found at the ladies' house was vintage. I'm including a little shaker bookmark that is homemade. And then, of course, my favorites card. And I, I'm a total newbie at this. So I'm learning all of the etiquette and the kinds of things that you do with pen palling. And then here are some of the extras that I am making for her. So this is just a little card. And I thought, oh, I didn't want to just keep it, you know, stark white. <laughs> so I'm just adding a little bit of decoration to make it look kind of like a postcard, I guess. So adding some stamps just to give it a little bit more interest than a plain white envelope. And then, of course, adding a few pieces of ephemera, a little flash card, a paper clip. And here I was thinking that I was being smart. And I said, oh, I'll just add a few things so I can still fit it in the envelope. And that way I can send it off, you know, without it costing too much. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> totally learned my lesson with this first go around. Uh, I'll talk more about that later. But here I am trying to do a wax seal. I have never mastered the art of wax sealing. Uh, I just can't quite figure it out. I don't know what it is. I never get enough or here I kind of have too much and sometimes it just doesn't melt fast enough. There's all kinds of things. I'm still figuring it out. I don't do it too often. So I guess the more practice I get, the <laughs> better I'll get at it. And then of course, decorating the envelope, inking the edges of this little label. And I still wasn't quite sure if this was going to be my main envelope, but I kind of was thinking not. So I said, oh, I'll just put a label there anyway and we'll figure out what to do with it. <laughs> so I think I ended up writing something like, pen pal letter inside or something like that. I was watching some YouTube videos to see how people do it and it's quite extensive some of these pen pal letters. So here I'm just taking a little bit of twine, Baker's twine and wrapping this set up so that everything stays together in the envelope and I had an issue with this too. I don't know. I haven't learned the art of <laughs> twine uh, tying. I guess this. Okay. So one of the most exciting things about doing this pen pal thing is that I am able to use up some supplies that have been sitting or that I have been hoarding for years. I'm talking five to seven, eight years. I've had some of this stuff. So I'm really excited to be able to dig into it, kind of use the things that I really had no use for or didn't know how to use. So things like this piece of vellum, I'm like, what, what would I have ever done with this piece of vellum? And now that I've created an envelope out of it, and by the way, I sewed the edges. I didn't, I could not figure out how to cut the envelope. So you had those little flaps and stuff. And I didn't want to take the time to try to make a template, but I just sewed the edges. Um, but how incredible is that? I mean, the cutest stinking envelope ever. So now I know what to do with all my all my pieces of vellum that I never would have used in like a journal or something. So now I'm using the color, what is this color? Peacock feathers, because my pen pal's favorite colors are turquoise and aquas. So obviously I used a lot of that, that color scheme. And besides, it's honestly my favorite colors too. So I just went with the colors that I liked. <laughs> And the interesting thing is that I was trying to keep everything fairly flat on this envelope because this was my final envelope to send out. And so I was just using things that I knew wouldn't get caught on anything in the postal process. And I thought I was being smart, like I said. So I took it to the post office just because I couldn't weigh it at home. I have a, I have a scale, but it wasn't working that day. It just wasn't registering. So I thought, oh, okay, well, it must be too light. <laughs> so I take it to the post office and they rang me up and they were like $5.65 or something like that. And I'm like, what? Why is it so expensive? And he tells me this has to go as a package. And I was like, it doesn't make sense to me. This is like the same thickness as like a wedding invitation. But he told me that if your letter cannot fold like a taco, 
it is considered a package. And I think there's some kind of really strict thickness of being like a quarter inch thick or something like that. So lesson learned, I'm fine paying the $5. You know, this was my first pen pal letter and I don't have a ton of pen pals, although I am looking to get more creative type of pen pals. If anybody is interested, um, I wouldn't mind doing more, uh, maybe a couple more. So let me know if you like to do this type of pen paling and I would love to connect with you. But uh, regardless, it was a lesson learned. It was fun and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way it came out. This brought me so much joy. It's fun getting to know new people. It's fun doing it this way and just keeping it fresh. So Rachel, thank you so much for reaching out to me and asking if we want to be pen pals. You're officially my friend. <laughs> uh, so Anyway, I look forward to doing more of these types of process videos. I'm hoping that, you know, I'll be able to get more either happy mail partners or pen pal partners. I don't know. Um, I don't want to overwhelm myself, so I will limit it if it does end up being like a, because I know there's other people out there who want to do this. Um, but if I do get more an overwhelming response, then I'll probably have to limit it just so you know. And it's not because I don't want to pen pal you. It's just because I don't want to disappoint anyone and fail. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you can. If you like crafty, journaly, Bible journaly, all that kind of stuff, that's what you're going to find on my channel. I'm so grateful you're here. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next one. Aloha.